It's 1.45 a.m. and I could go for some dick right now. And I am trying to see where I can get it. I kind of don't care either. Like, I want to just be real with it. Like, DTF, question mark. If not, but if so, bring that thing on over here. I got Old Faithful that I could hit up. And it's just something preventing me from doing that. I want to incorporate new people into my life. And, like, I'm sorry, Old Faithful. Actually, I'm not sorry because we don't people please around here. So if you're going through a dry spell, let me go ahead and pull some cards for y'all for us. Because we got to see where our next little bit of, our next little piece of dick is coming from. Our, our next little piece of dick. Ooh. Mm. Somebody that's probably at a distance from you. I pulled another card just to double check, but when I saw this, I said, oh, you already know this person. When I saw this, I said, oh, you already know this person. And then the high priestess says, you know this person. Let me see why you don't want, let me see. Uh, this person might make you worry or maybe you're just worried in general. Some of y'all are too worried about like, okay, well, I'm going to give them some coochie and then what? And then what? And then what? And then what? I think you want things to move faster than they really should. So I feel like June will be the month for you guys to get your next little piece of whatever. But I do feel like this person's at a distance. They do have to travel to you. And you could want the relationship to move faster than they do. Or they want the relate. It's either. it's It could be vice versa too. This person is waiting for you to, to contact them. They got somebody like a false idol. They put somebody above you. This person probably put somebody above you. Trying to manifest you back in. Now, this could have pissed you off, and you might have cut this person off, maybe for good. And this person's been trying to, like, get you back ever since. Oh, I feel like the reason why you guys are not, probably not going to get this person until, like, the month of June, it has something to do with the fact that they're um, at a distance, number one. They're trying to manifest you back, number two. And this person is, like, this person's playing games. I think they want what they want, but I think that you're going to win here in this situation. This is not a bad energy, though. So when I say, oh, they playing games, I think the game is like, oh, I want you to want me more than I want you. But this person does, I think, want you more than you want them. And so some of y'all might be taking a, a break from this relationship or maybe you need to like rest up a little bit because this person might have you. This person, I think this person's going to come back trying to, number one, apologize, but this person's going to have you like running your ragged tearing that thing up definitely somebody coming back could be born in the month of august this could be somebody who also you might have been married to them before or y'all were in a long-term relationship at one point but you could have this person is like this person's all over the place or you may have felt like they were all over the place you could have also felt like they were trying to juggle somebody over you and now they're coming back in Pay attention to your intuition because this person is still playing. I think they still gonna be playing games though, to be honest. But see beyond the facade. Like, why would somebody play games with you like this if they don't really want you? I don't condone toxic energy, but this person, like, why would this person play this many games if they wasn't really feeling you like that? This person might want you to like submit to them. They're imagining having children with you, maybe. Maybe three. Y'all might end up having two, but they might want three. Or maybe y'all, maybe there's just three children all together here. Ooh. Definitely some energy about having a baby in this particular pile. And this person feels like you are above it all. Like you're royalty in this person's eyes. No one's good enough. Not even them. And so I think this person is trying to make themselves feel more worthy because of the fact that you might be 
you might be like levels, like there's levels to it. And you might be out of this person's league. Some of y'all are out of this person's league. And so this person is, but they're being guided back to you. If you believe in like the concept of twin flame or Adam and Eve, this one person was made from your rib. This person's like your twin soul made from your body. Like this is, this is that. And if it's not that, this is what this person feels about you. But I, I pick up here that this is that. This person is in love. I get the sense that you got somebody that's like, that like loves you. And they might express their love in like a little bit of like a, a toxic way, almost at a platonic way. But this person could be a little bit toxic. They might have toxic traits or they just like, they, they play games. This person's a game player. But I'm telling you, there's something about August here. Maybe you guys are going to get together in August. Again, this person could be born in August. There could be a baby born in August. Or there's some type of energy about like procreation and creating life in August. And so maybe y'all gonna end up like in a friends with benefits situation and then it's gonna turn into something more and then that's gonna turn into more and then bam, boom, bam, there's a little boy that comes out of this union. Definitely something about an accidental, uh, accidental pregnancy. But I'm telling you, this person's loyal though. They're definitely extraordinarily loyal. So if you're not ready for a full-blown commitment, you might not want to be bumping uglies with this one right here. <laughs> When I said bumping uglies, I heard, well, maybe yours is beautiful. Maybe like this person doesn't see nothing wrong with you. Like you are this person's better half. You are the best part of them. They definitely could be uh, hiding their emotions or hiding their feelings in some kind of way. But they have like a fire inside of them that's raging and burning for you. Like a fire, baby, a fire, a fire. If you look at this card right here, that's a wedding arch. And so spirit is gifting you with your better half. You can say no all you want to, okay? But if your little loins is on fire and you like, I need some penis, some dick, some whatever. And the only person that you can think of is this person. Nothing else will do. No other wand will quench your fire, baby. Then that's because this person is meant to be in your life for a reason in a very uh sexual type of way. Y'all know sexuality and sensuality anyway. That's one of those emotions and one of those powers that like help you to manifest sexual manifestation, all that. And so there's some type of energy here about like um, sexual, sexual manifestation, helping you to see things a bit more clearly. Some of y'all might be really wound up. I know me personally, I just went through the whole issue of my grandma passing away and all that other stuff that happened in 2022. And so, you know, after going through like blow after blow after blow, once you get to that place where you where you're even, especially if you ain't been doing no fucking, you gonna be ready. You about to be ready, Freddie. And so you ready or this person's ready. So if you haven't been going through like ups and downs, this person has, or maybe both of y'all have. And now it's time for y'all to reap the <laughs> now it's time for y'all to reap the rewards. This person, if you're feminine, this person likes what your body looks, especially them hips and titties. Especially them hips and titties. So this person's definitely uh, highly attracted to you in whatever kind of way that that makes sense. And in this card, if you see right here, this is either a heron or a stork. But when I saw it, it looked like the stork. So there's something about procreation in this card. The star card is also a really, really strong um, karma card. So this could be like your karmic lover or your person that's like, again, divinely orchestrated and made to be in your life. And there's eight stars in this card, which 17, the star card is 17, one plus seven is eight. Numerology, that's about infinity, about karma. So this person's like your karmic, your better half. And spirit's been trying to like temper you guys together. But you guys are both pouring from a cup that will never, ever run out. You guys are both pouring from a cup that will never run out. So if you're trying to get naked with somebody, if you're don't, if you not already united with this person, I will wait. Let's just see. I honestly don't think anything, I don't think any dick is going to do until you get what you want. But at the same time, don't go waiting for this person. Like, I'm telling you, like, no dick could do. But you'll never know if no dick could do unless you go out there and do some dicks. So, do what you got to do. 
to wiggle your way out of this out of this karma that this person got you in get a little ass and call it a day because how do you know this nigga who whoever else you got in your life because some of y'all some of y'all might have like a little jody or somebody on the side that you can hit up and so who's to say that this person really can't satisfy you why not just check it out and see and if they can't they can't but if they can girl 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 the devil card. The devil card is a card about sensuality. It's the same exact card as the lovers, except for it's based upon your carnal, your carnal uh, wants and desires. And so a lot of good relationships do start off with the devil because it starts with good sex. It starts with all those, like somebody obsessing about it, you know, fantasizing about you. All those things that are really taboo when you really think about it. You know, women shouldn't be masturbating and thinking about their lover. They shouldn't be playing a highlight reel or recording niggas and all that kind of stuff. But maybe you should. Maybe you should go and step outside of the grain. Go against the grain one good time and see what happens. Because there's, some, there's something here. There's something here. And you're chained to this person anyway. And whoever this y'all have a karmic in y'all. Y'all have a couple of different people that you could choose from. Um and again, no dick might not do for you, but at the same time, I think that y'all should try it out and see what, what happens. Because there's a karmic and there's a lover. There's like a I think that y'all have two different lovers that you could be maybe uh choosing between at this point in time. I'm not saying to go get married. I'm saying to go get some dick if that's what you want. This is this is a spiritual lesson for some of y'all. But be patient. What you want is on its way. But be patient. But this is a spiritual lesson. If you're feeling like you want to do it, then I say do it. I mean, some of y'all might suffer from like religious guilt or something like that. And I feel like it's time for you to either challenge that. I mean, you ain't got to challenge it, of course. You can go the straight and narrow path and never have a sexual relationship with nobody outside of your husband if you want to. But you don't know when your husband is coming. You don't know when your husband... Even if you booked a reading with me, which I hope that you won't if you're asking questions like that, because I'm not going to be able to tell you. I will not tell you. But uh, if you're waiting for your husband, like, you're not going to find him. You're not going to find him. Like, if you're waiting and waiting and waiting, that's the moment that spirit's going to keep this person at bay. You're going to have to have some fun in, in, in the in-between time. Because look at that. There is a husband here for some of y'all, though. If you resonate with this message, you do have a husband. But in order to trigger this person to come towards you, I feel like a certain part of your, like, life's purpose is about breaking free of religious some of y'all are really religious in whatever kind of way, however that makes sense to you. And some some of y'all, your path has to do with you guys breaking free from that, like religious guilt and stuff. Stand your ground. People might judge you, but stand your ground. Be patient. I'm not even going to tell y'all the rest. I'm going to go ahead and let that go because be patient. There's something good coming for y'all. If you out there saying to yourself, like, oh, I want a baby, I want a marriage, I want all this. Yeah, that's going to come to you because if you want it, it's something that's aligned with you. But you got to be able to release control because spirit might have a, a husband for you that blah, blah, blah. But until you really, like, trust the process and really, like, do some trial and error, then how do you really know that that's the person for you? You don't. And so I get the sense that spirit is trying to get y'all to, like, step outside of y'all's box because some of y'all are too rigid in your ways. And whatever this next chapter is in your life especially financially abundance all that there's something about um stepping outside of your comfort zone in order to achieve all those things that you honestly want like explore yourself if you don't feel like having sex with somebody else go masturbate if you've already been masturbating baby and you know it's not doing it for you then go hit up go hit up old faithful go hit up old faithful and see what you get okay <laughs> I ain't trying to tell y'all to be out there just whatever, but some of y'all got the boys on pause and maybe that's a part of your next spiritual journey or the next part of your career path. Um, Cause I get the sense that some of you guys are um, either in the spotlight in some kind of way, or there's something about a great love that's brewing up, but you really can't like 
love somebody else until you love yourself. But how are you going to love yourself if you keep denying yourself of all those things that you really want? Like, who's to say that you can't go out there and have no strings attached sex? Are you trying to say that if spirit doesn't have a husband for you at all, are you trying to say to yourself that you're never going to have sex? That you're never going to go out there and procreate and have a baby or just whatever? Is that what you're trying to say? Because if, that, if that's what you're trying to say, then I think that you guys are going about this all wrong. Honestly, and I think that once you start to inject a little bit of wrong into your life, that's when things are going to start to go right. And I do see, again, there's a marriage here for some of y'all. And again, I say for some of y'all, but if you're watching this message and it resonates, there's a marriage here for all y'all. But Jody, Johnny, Jonathan, all them people, uh, I'm picking up a name like a, a Curtis or a girl. It, it's any name, any name. There's a bunch of names that, I, that are coming out for me. If you know some of these people and he's got a can't do right type attitude, then there's really nothing that you can do. So just move on. Transform the relationship. The death card is also very Scorpio. And so this is not about death in any kind of way. This is about transformation. And so if the old part of you is dying off, that old religious self that says sex is wrong, then who do you think is, is being reborn? It's not going to be Mother Teresa, baby. You got to be Cardi B popping that pussy. What does she say? what she say he eat it in the car that's meals on wheels bitch get your get your pussy ate do something that do do something that you've never done before to get the results that you want to get out of your life and if it don't work then abandon ship repent <laughs> i'm sorry god i did i did wrong god will forgive you god's a very forgiving god okay I was reading the Bible just recently, and in the Bible, I was reading um, Exodus, Exodus, and in Exodus, uh, you know, Moses set the people free and all that, but during the trip, like an 11-day journey, because the, the people that Moses set free were should have been, you know, they should have reached the promised land in 11 days from the time that they were set free, but it took them 40 years to be accepted into the promised land because God refused to protect them because they kept mumbling and complaining about all the things that he was telling them to do. And so there's a part in the Bible where God is like, listen, Moses, if it was up to me, I'd kill all these niggas. I would smite every single last one of them. But Moses jumped on his knees and he like pleaded for God not to smite the people. And he had to do that like three times. And there's even a part in the Bible where in Exodus where God is like, well, listen, you go ahead and you walk with them, but I'm going to go ahead to the final destination because if I walk with y'all, I will end up smiting all these motherfuckers because they keep on playing with my patience. And God is like, you know, your God is a forgiving God, but they keep testing me is what he said, essentially. And so if God can forgive the people of Egypt... <laughs> <laughs> that were locked away in bondage for all those years for him to set them free for them to complain for them to turn an 11 day journey into a 40 year journey and then after the journey is over from exodus to um leviticus to the book of deuteronomy the whole time they're complaining they're backsliding they're going against god the whole time god keeps telling moses like i'm going to kill these people every single time and moses had to repent and to forgive or ask for forgiveness on behalf of those uh, on behalf of the people or the people of israel the children of israel or whatever and so again you gonna make mistakes you gonna backslide you will still get to the promised land and if you don't it's because you just didn't you know you didn't repent it's because you didn't learn your lesson you didn't learn the lesson behind all these tests and in the bible god even says to moses before he dies he's like i'm gonna let these people get into the promised land but guaranteed they gonna mess up again because that's just a part of their nature and i'm gonna i'm gonna send them through the ringer and then at that point if they haven't learned their lesson then that's on them and so that's the thing. God is going to give you another chance and another chance and another chance. You're never going to run out of chances with God. But if you keep on blowing it and you keep on doing the same thing over and over again, putting another God before him, not loving yourself, not off, you know, not taking the, the time out to sacrifice for you, uh, you know, taking it away from God, not taking the time out for you, then yeah, you're going to be stuck in a cycle. But if not, girl, like, let go of all that, like, religious guilt and just say to yourself, like, look, this is what I want to do. I want to feel loved for at least one moment. Treat me like a woman. 
you know, flip it and rub it down like the man I know you are and see what you get. And if you don't get what you want, then you know next time. You know, you, you can only get this pussy one. You can only, uh, what, what I want to say, uh, you can only get this pussy out of me the wrong way but one time. Fool me once and shame on, was it? Shame on you. Fool me twice, you can't be fooled again. Fool me one time, shame on you. Fool me twice, can't put the blame on you. Fool me three times, fuck the peace sign. Load the chopper, let it rain on you. That's your problem if you let it happen again. So spirit is saying like, girl, there ain't no right. There is no right or wrong way. There's only trial and error. And if God rebukes you, he rebukes you. And if he rebukes you, then say sorry, girl. And call it a day. But get laid first. I'm going to tell y'all that. So like, share, and subscribe. I hope that this message resonated with somebody out there. Peace and love.